Every time I do, I'm with the cell door. A very busy holiday makers love to sightsee. When the weather's fine, there's no better place to visit. Some people like to go to the mountains, others like the valleys. Children love the seaside. One morning, Thomas was puffing along the way with his two coaches. I can ask you to take the children home. Of course I will, the pussy. Later, pussy. Wait, the pussy got held. Sorry, pussy. Can't talk. I'm on high alert. Why? Bad weather, Stu. Mine helps always needed. Mine has you go, pussy, huh? The pussy. As long as I got whales, I can go anywhere in any weather. Anyway, goodbye, Supercy. Be, Be careful, careful Wonkana. There's a storm coming. I promise, it's a promise. No, no matter what the weather, Supercy. Choo choo. The children had a lovely day. But by tea time, dark crowds gloom ahead. Annie and Clarabo was happy when Percy arrived. He was just in time. The rain smuggled out Percy's boiler. Ah, he shivered and followed his nice dry shed. Percy struggled on past coastal villages and into the countryside. The river was rising fast. I wish I could see. I wish I could see the Percy as he battled against the rain. More trouble way ahead. <laughs> oh, said Percy, the water's sloshing my fire. Percy's driving fireman has to find some more firewood. I have so many floorboards, please. To the fireman, to the conductor. I just slept the floor this morning, said the conductor. But he still helped. Soon, Percy's fire was burning well. He felt warm and comfortable again. Then he saw Harold. Oh no, said Percy. Harold's come to laugh at me. It's a parachute, left the driver. Harold's driver hot drinks for us. Thank you, Harold. We're so pussy. Thank good to be a service to Harold as he buzzed away. Wheels. Pussy was losing steam again, and he went plunge bravely on. I promise, he panted. I promise. He made one, he made one more, more big effort and rest. Exhausted by time, he, he walked the train home. <laughs> well done, Percy Chio Thomas. You kept your promise. And despite everything, the top and had a ride in Harold. First, he thanked the man. Then, Percy. Harold told me you were a, a wizard. He said that he can beat you at some things, but not being a submarine. I don't know what you took it up to sometimes, but I do know that you're a really useful engine. Oh, sir, whispered Percy happily.